Hey everyone, you're here with the Michael Lewis Marketing Suite and for this tutorial we're going to be going over how to add and edit an image box on your marketing materials. So for this tutorial I have a saved piece that I wanted to use. It is a flyer. So I'll go ahead and edit the template. Now the reason I wanted to use this flyer is because this photo here as well as this one and this one are all different shapes. That way I can show you how photos get distorted when uploaded and how to fix that. So right off the bat you have the add image box right here. So you can add in an image. You can also delete that image out as well as any other image boxes that were already there. When I click on an image you'll see these functions change. So we have upload, where you can upload in a new photo by clicking browse and then insert image. We have the image box width and height. Lock aspect ratio. You can rotate the image 15, 45, 90, or 180 degrees. Or of course you can grab this green dot right here and rotate it at any degree you want. We have bring to the front and bring to the back. This is for layering. As you can see, these photos are all layered. These two are on top of this one. Each photo and text box is a layer. And this is just bring forward one layer at a time and send back one layer at a time. We have the X and Y coordinates. And like I showed you, you can delete an image, cancel, which is a one-time undo button, and apply, which is like a soft save. So let me go ahead and I'm going to upload the same photo for all three of these and then show you how it, each one differs as far as cropping. So we'll start with the bottom one, which is most similar to the shape of the photo I'll be uploading. So I'm going to click Browse, grab the staircase photo, click Choose, and it uploads it in. Now this is actually my staircase from my house. Now I'm going to insert image, and it's uploaded in. So I'm going to do that same thing for the other two photos as well. So now all three photos are uploaded in, same photo, and hopefully you can tell that one of them is quite distorted. Maybe this one up here, it's squished horizontally. This one is actually squished vertically, but very slightly. Not hard enough to really notice, but it is changing the way the photo looks. And this one's almost exactly the way it should be. So what I'm going to do is show you when I click on this image here and click Upload, it brings up the image editor. And you'll notice my cursor goes from a cursor to a crosshair when I drag it over the photo. This is your cropping tool. So if I were to click anywhere on the photo, hold the mouse down and drag it, it creates a box. This is cropping the photo. So if you wanted, you could crop just a small section of a photo and show that off. But I recommend cropping every photo and you stretch this box out as much as possible on each corner. And you'll notice that it has room to wiggle. The reason being is this image that I'm trying to upload is not the same shape as the image slot I'm trying to place it into. So again, upload, go to create the cropping box, and you'll notice these boxes on each side and corner of the box. You can grab any of these and pull it out, and then click insert image. So that one didn't change much. Now this next one you'll notice is a bit more horizontally rectangular. So when I click on this photo and click upload, you'll notice when I crop, this one's covering even less of the photo. So you grab the corner, stretch as much as possible, and then decide what portion of the photo you want to show. So we'll drop it down, click insert. Now that one's cropped. Now this last one's going to be the most dramatic because it's so vertical. So I'll click upload. I'm going to click the top left corner, and when I bring it down, you'll see it only covers this much, not even half of the photo. 
So in this instance, you'd either want to choose a different photo, or if you're okay with just showing off this much of the photo, you can do so. So I'll click Insert Image, and now it's not distorted. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click this photo and delete it. Now what I'm going to do is add an image in, and when I click on this photo, I'm going to show you how to use each of these functions to get this photo back to the way it was before. So what I'm going to do is you'll notice these four dots can be clicked and moved. This is changing the size of the box. So you'll notice the box width is 207 and the height is 196. So this width number is going to go up a lot when I take this image and stretch it over to the right. It goes from 207 to 555. So we're going to place the image here. Make sure that the X coordinate is at zero, which means it's perfectly lined up with the left side. And we'll grab this bottom right corner, stretch it down so it lines up with this box on the right. Now what we're going to do is click Upload. Again, browse through the computer, get that staircase photo, click Choose. Always remember to crop. And then Insert Image. So now the photo's there. We got our photo back. One thing you'll notice though is that this photo is now covering the other two. So that's when the layering comes into play. So you can click send backwards, but it's only going to do it one layer at a time, so you'd have to keep clicking. Or you can just click send to back, and it drops it behind every single layer on the flyer. So now these are displayed. Make sure to hit apply, and you're good to go. Of course, if you want to do more customization, you can angle certain photos if you need to. But for the most part, you shouldn't need to do any more than that. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call at our customer care number, 310-606-2029.